Hey y'all, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. Today's project, we're back on the boat again. Let's get started. So today we've got a few items we need to hook up in the boat. A few things that need to be done. I'm waiting on a control box cable in order to be able to hook up the shifter mechanism, get that working right. Uh, the boat's running fine, not overheating, everything's good. So in the meantime, there's a few things I need to get done. I need to install a bilge pump, install a bilge blower, uh, I need to change the oil, I need to change the drive oil, um, a few other things we need to take care of. So I'm gonna get started on that today. I'm going to start with the uh, bilge blower. We currently have a bilge blower in the boat. It does not work. Not sure if it's a wiring issue or just a bad blower motor, but I did go ahead and buy another bilge blower and some hose to hook it up with. So we're going to try to get that installed first. Check this to make sure it works before hooking it up. I want to get it installed and not work. And it works fine. Let's see if I can get any voltage back here. Which switch turns on the bilge blower? Looks like it was the first one I tried. Up. Let me see if it's working. Working fine. Next is the bilge pump. Bilge pump here. One issue I'm going to have is, is I don't see any wiring down there for a bilge pump. The old bilge pump hose is here, but I don't see the wiring for it. So I'm going to have to trace that down. I did some searching off camera, and way back here in the back, cut off real short are the bilge pump wires. So I'm gonna get those hooked up permanently. Get the bilge hooked up. Water hose hooked up to it. Way we got something to pump the water out of the bilge. Got it wired up. Turn the bilge pump on. Nothing comes on. Got a place where you can test it back here. Turn it and it should turn on. And it does. So now I gotta get the hose hooked up. And there she is, wired up and sitting down in the bilge. To drain the oil in this boat, you can't reach the oil drain in the oil pan underneath because of the bilge. Too small, you can't get a pan under there. So what we're going to use is an oil suction pump. We're going to go down the dipstick tube and suck all the oil out. Three hours later. All right, so I got it drained out. Takes a long time to drain out four and a half quarts of that little pump. 
So the next thing is getting the oil filter. They could not have put the oil filter in the worst place. It's at the very back of the engine, way back in there. And of course, just like every other oil filter, it's on extremely tight. I don't know why people do that for. You don't have to put an oil filter on, but a hand tight. I've been doing that my whole life and I've never had one leak. So if you change the oil, hand tight's all you need. Hand tight to get it back off. It makes it much easier. the oil changed next on the agenda is the drive oil all right y'all didn't have enough time to change the drive oil you guys know how it is always something going on but we'll be sure to get to that one on the next video so make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a notification thanks for watching y'all see you later